Hi, boys and girls. We're going to do a reading let. I'm going to do a reading lesson right now, and you guys are going to do some reading pages. Um, so we have learned three new sight words so far. Do you remember what they are? Let me get out of the way. When I set up the pocket chart in the classroom, I'll always turn over the sight words cards, and then I'll let them raise their hand, or I'll call on kids so that they're not all shout shouting out at the same time. But you're at home, and you can go ahead and call it out if you know it. So I'm going to start with this one. This is the very first one that we did a few weeks ago. Give you a minute to say it. Okay, I have a feeling all of you are saying it. Um, the word is A, and it's also a letter. Yes, it's a, there's a big A and a lowercase A. This is a lowercase A, but this A is special. This is a word also, right? So I use that when I say, I have on a black and white striped shirt, okay? Or I see a computer on my desk. I see a TV over there in the corner. You don't see that, but I see it. A, A, right? So let's put that up. And then the next week we learn this word, okay? My, remember we read the book, My Sister? Okay, so M-Y spells my. Okay, you call this a sight word because you cannot sound it out. If you tried to sound it out, you'd say M says, mm, now that's right, that's the correct sound. But Y usually says, yeah, yeah for Yancey Yak, but Y is one of the trickiest letters. It's always trying to trick us, especially when it's at the end of the word. So sometimes, instead of saying ya at the end of the word, it says I. It sounds like the letter I. Sometimes it sounds like the letter A, and sometimes it sounds like the letter E. So how do we know? Well, we just have to kind of try it, right? So in this word, I'll tell you that the Y sounds like an I. So instead of mm, ya, it's just mm, I, my, my. These are my glasses, okay? These are my teeth. These are my earrings, okay? My, you use the word my when something belongs to you, okay? You're trying to show possession. It's not just a pair of glasses, okay? You can say that, I see a pair of glasses. But if they're mine, I don't wanna say, oh, look at a pair of glasses here. I wanna say, I see my pair of glasses, right? Here they are. Okay, so let me put this. And then our new one that we just practiced this week. I'm gonna give you a minute to say it. Get out of the way, because there's kind of a glare. S-E-E. -E. Now, E, we know E says, eh, eh, Ellie elephant. Does that make sense? S, eh, eh, se, se? There's no such word as se. So you know what, that's why we call these sight words, because you can't sound them out. You have to put them in your brain and memorize them. So remember what Jack Cartman did yesterday? When we did the Zooms, I played the Jack Cartman video. Everyone was there. Well, I guess one person was gone from Zoom yesterday, but most of you saw it, okay? Remember he said S-E-E, -E, and then he would cover up the letter and say, what's missing? Okay, S, because you see the E's. Okay, now what's missing? E. It's not S-E, it's S-E-E. -E. Okay, now what's missing? Okay, the E is missing. So he kind of played a little game with you. C, and we're talking about this kind of C. I see you. We're not talking about the letter C. We're not talking about the deep, the ocean, the deep blue sea. We're talking about I see you, right? C. All right, now I went ahead and I used the uh, picture cards that we used this week for the letter T, and I set up some sentences. So it says C, a tiger, okay? I didn't put I see a tiger or we see a tiger, it's just see a tiger. So it's not really a complete sentence. That's why I didn't put a period here, okay? The Nat Geo program teaches these three letters first or these three sight words first. Um, then we have another one next week and then they introduce the word I and then you can really start putting sentences together. But they don't wanna start with sentences that are four or five words. They're, they wanna start with just um, nouns and then uh, like a, a article before it, okay, A or my. Okay, here we go. C, A, tiger, or you could say, see a tiger? Yeah, I do, okay. C, A, tent, do you see a tent? Yes. C, A, truck, okay. So the reason I put spaces between these is we don't wanna put them too close together because it's too hard to read. We don't wanna write, read, see a tiger. See a tent, see a truck, okay? We kind of separate those words, see a tiger. And when we write those on a piece of paper, 
we put two finger space between the words, okay? We don't squash them all up together. We separate them with a space. We're gonna be doing that pretty soon. Okay, now I've, I have a few more. How about this one? C, A, tire. How about this one? C, A, teapot. Let's see what else I have here. Okay, one more. C, A, top. This is a spinny top, a toy. Okay, now we could also do this. We could separate there. Let me take all of these out. We could change that word A to the word my, and now it changes the sentence a little bit so that now it belongs to me. See my tire? Okay, I'd have to take you outside and show you the tire on my car, right? See my tire? I see it. See my teapot? I have a teapot in the kitchen. I guess I should have brought that in there. See my top? I do not have one of those, but maybe you guys have something like that at your house. So we just practice reading um, words with the sight words A and my and C. Okay, now let's go ahead and take these over to the desk or the table where I do my work. And I'm gonna have me sit down and let me set this up. We're gonna do two pages in our Nat Geo Reach for Reading workbook. We really have done a lot, haven't we? we oops, <laughs> it's kind of kind of um, jumpy there. Uh oh, <laughs> sorry about that. It's Friday, right? Okay, so Reach for Reading. Now we have been pretty much going in order, okay? So when you open it up, if you did all the work we were supposed to do this week, you're gonna see this page. And this is the page that it says, if I put my glasses on, I can actually read this. It says, uh, duplicate, cut out the letters and the word cards. Children will need one card for each during practice activities. What they want us to do is make a copy of this and then have the kids cut them out. And then like, let's say they find the word C and then they match it. And then each time they're reading it and they either read it to a teacher or to a partner. You know, and then they, and, and they'll go, oh, this is a big T, little T, I put that there. But there's so many other things you can do with it. So I'm just gonna let you choose. You can use them for little flashcards. So far, we have not sent home sight word flashcards. Uh, eventually I might, but this workbook does a pretty good job of introducing them. And you'll see in a few weeks, they are gonna give you a set of the first set of flashcards, okay? So in the classroom, I'd probably go ahead and give them all to you. And then we just do one, you know, set at a time because some kids are ready for it, but um, it's okay to do it this way. I may end up, if we have another pickup day, or maybe I'll mail them to you if we get too far into the year, but if we go back to school in January, it's fine. You guys will already have learned a lot of sight words, and then when we get back, I'll give it, I'll give you the, the, the words all nice on, on the uh, um, cardstock paper, the colored paper, and then we can start working on our sight word um, reading rainbows okay i'm not gonna i'm not gonna explain that right now we got too much to to do so if you want to cut those out put them in a little baggie practice them if you've been saving your other ones you probably have quite a few okay and then you can um you know pay, play little games with it maybe play concentration lay them all down memory game see if you can find two that match and read them so there's all sorts of things i'm gonna go ahead and take this out stick it in the back of the book for now Okay, I do like this page. We're gonna practice writing, we're gonna practice reading the word C. We're not gonna actually write it. It just says C my. So down here you get to draw a picture. And it says to go around your house and look for something. So the possibilities are endless. My doggy Romeo is laying down on the floor again. So I'm gonna say see my dog. And the good thing about dog is I could actually write the word in there too. So I'm gonna draw a picture and he's actually laying in his doggy bed. So I'm gonna put him here. I might have to erase this. <laughs> JD, her little sister said, she, where's Romeo? She said, she likes Romeo. Yeah, until he starts barking during our Zoom, right? I like him too, till he starts barking. He's very curly and very fluffy and he just likes to lay, right? Whenever I'm working, he likes to lay there. So I drew a little picture and I could actually write the word dog in here. The directions do not say to write the word. They're just letting you draw the picture. And then when you read it, you go, see my dog. But since that was so easy, I thought we might as well write it, right? Okay, you might not have a dog. You might have a cat at your house. So let me draw a little cat. I'm gonna make it like this. I know a cat has pointy ears. I'm gonna make a triangle nose. I'll show you in a minute. 
I will make whiskers. This cat's kind of sitting up like that. Oh, better make the, the tail. Uh, where's the paws, right here? Okay, hey, that's kind of cute. So I drew a little kitty cat. If you have a cat, maybe you wanna say, see my cat. And then I'm gonna write ka a t so I would say if you if you pick easy words, it's great to let the kids sound out the words. If you if they say something like "see my refrigerator," <laughs> you might not want to write that, right? I'm looking around my house right now. See my oh, I see my rainbow. Oh, up there here. I better show you. Up there, up in the corner. Do you see that sun? I have a rainbow, and I have my man in the moon. But I like the sun. I'm gonna do that. See my sun. Well, I guess the sun doesn't really belong to me, but. That's okay. I'll do that. And, or I was going to do see my desk because I'm working at my desk. This one's so easy to write. That's why I chose it. S uh, 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 n. See my son. Okay, let's see. I see my computer, my crayons, my printer, my window. I'm trying to think of something that's kind of easy to write. My chair, my desk. Let's say desk. Okay, I'm working at my desk. So I'm gonna draw a picture of my desk. It goes like this. It does have drawers right here that I open up and keep things in. Um, and then I have a computer. I have a big computer here with a keyboard. And then I have my laptop. And then I have an extra monitor. Oh my goodness, I have so many computers. And I have an iPad. That's because I need all of them. All right, so I drew everything on my desk. I could add a pencil holder. And I'm going to say, see my desk. OK, what do you think desk starts with? Da, da, da. Da, eh, eh, e, desk, s, and then k, k. And I do use lowercase letters when I write these because it's not a name and it's not the beginning of the sentence. But okay, so let's go back and read them. See my dog, see my cat, see my son, see my desk. Now you do not have to write what I, what I wrote. You can write whatever you want. And you don't really even have to write the words. You can just draw the picture, practice reading those sight words. See and my. Now there is a page on the back of this Okay, and what it is, when, when, I, uh, when I saw this, I thought, uh-oh, I forgot to bring this book home again. So it says the snowy day. I thought, why are we doing a book about the snowy day in September when it's so hot out? Well, guess what? When I read the directions, I remember this page from last year. What I usually do is I show the kids the book. Now, this is actually not the book. I printed it out from um, the computer. But this is what the book looks like. I have this book and I usually always read it in the winter time. But what they're doing is they're saying, okay, if I showed you a book, any book, like Pete the Cat, the Rainbow Fish, even before we open it up, even before we look at the pictures, you can kind of make a prediction, and that means a guess of what this story is going to be about. The snowy day, hmm, I wonder what this story is gonna be about. You think, and this is a little boy, it's kind of hard to tell, but he's wrapped up in a, a, a jacket with a hood. Um, and it is a boy though, because I know the story, his name is Peter, I'll tell you that much. But he um, he's doing something in the snow, what's he, what's he doing? Is he building a snowman? I don't see a snowman. Is he throwing a snowball? No, what's he doing? He's looking at his footprints. So what's he doing in the snow? I think he's taking a walk. Do you think he's taking a walk? He's taking a walk in the snow. And because I see this traffic light, he's not in a park. He's not at his house. He's someplace downtown where they have stoplights, right? So he's taking a walk in the snow, okay? And I see some buildings here. And we don't know what it is. It could be a store or a library, but we do see the stop sign. So he's taking a walk. So it just says, make a prediction of what this story is going to be about. Do you think a good prediction would be that he's going to go to the beach? Who thinks Peter's going to go to the beach in this book? <laughs> no, I don't think he can go to the beach when he's in the snow, right? Um, okay, who thinks he's going to, who thinks that maybe he'll build a snowman? I'd say that's a good guess. You know, we don't know for sure because we haven't seen the book, but there's snow and he's all bundled up, right? He's got his warm clothes on. So right now he's taking a walk, but maybe later on in the book, maybe he's going to build a snowman. Would this be a good prediction? Do you think he's going to take a nap? 
maybe maybe later on but but right now i think he's just taking a walk so what what you think about it your ideas do not have to be the same as mine and on this it says to make a prediction what that story is going to be about so i'm just going to draw um some snow you know i think i'm going to put a hill because maybe later on he'll go down on a sled and maybe he'll go slide down he had that hat on so I'm gonna make him, oh, this is not a very good, but here, here's his hair. And he's, sli <laughs> he's sliding on his sled down the hill, going wee, and maybe he's gonna build a snowman. Maybe he's gonna play in the snow, or maybe he's just gonna go for a walk. So we're just making a guess. I'm gonna make some snowflakes up here. And I'll show you how I did that real quick. I know this video is getting a little long, but I don't have too much um, else to do, okay? I made some snow down here. I made a hill. I made a snowman. So this is a good prediction of what the story is going to be about, okay? Um, the other thing that I, I guess I forgot to mention this, he's looking at his footprints. And because I know what the story is about, um, he likes that. He sees his footprints and he thinks that's kind of fun. So then he keeps walking, but he tries to make different kind of footprints. So you could just do that. Okay, but don't draw a prediction that he's gonna go to the beach because that would be impossible, right? Okay, um, and then I'm gonna super, super fast because this is not gonna take very long, okay? Now, we practice the word C. This time we get to write it. The picture's already there. We don't have to draw a picture and the pictures all start with, what letter do you think they're gonna start with? What was our letter of the week? T, so look what we're gonna do. We're gonna write the word C, and this one's gonna say C A top, just like we had on the pocket chart, okay? And you can color it if you want to, but that is optional. Now I'm gonna trace the word C, S E E. So the first time I just trace it, now for number two it says blank, a tractor. We're gonna put the sight word C in there, and we can look over here to see how to spell it. And we've already practiced this. In our Zoom, we practice on our whiteboards. Now, it is a capital S because it's the first word of the sentence. And you know what? They did put a period there. They did, because they're kind of asking you, see a tractor, okay? See a top? They're not saying I, they're just kind of going, see? Do you see? Okay, see a tire? Hey, we used that one too, didn't we? Capital S-E-E. -E. See, oh, hey, Logan and Corbin, you're gonna love this one. Twins, hey, the other day I asked you guys what starts with a T, we should have said twins, right? Corbin and Logan are t -t twins. See twins, yes, I see twins, S-E-E. -E. See a truck, S-E-E. -E. Now the last one, they're trying to trick you a little bit. It doesn't say see a turkey, oops, yes it does, sorry. I thought they were using the word my, all right. They're not tricking you. I was trying to trick you. Okay, C, A, turkey. Okay, so those are the only pages we're gonna do. Um, parents, on the back of this, there's another prediction one, and it says to have the kids compare the predictions, the one they made on a snowy day in another book. But since we weren't in the classroom, that was the only one that we did this week. So I am so sorry that so long. It was kind of two lessons in one. We did the pocket chart, we did two pages, but I gave you some other short lessons, okay? So if you want to, you can just put a big X. We're not gonna compare the predictions. You do not have to do this, but I do want you to do this one. Okay, make a prediction what that book's gonna be out about the snowy day and this one, and then that's it, okay? And I promise you I have, the next two lessons are very short, all right? Happy Friday.